Hey guys, it's Pauline and you're on my channel where I show you different confectionery recipes, life hacks, etc. Today we're gonna layer and build a gorgeous perfectly even cake which will look mouth-watering when it's cut. I have a classic vanilla sponge cherry cake. It's my vanilla chiffon sponge, you can find the recipe on my channel. I'll be using cream cheese to fill the cake, the recipe is also on my channel. Here I have a starch cherry filling. If you want a recipe, leave a comment and I'll make a video with it. Also, I have a milk syrup. You already know where to find the recipe, right? I'm gonna show you the methodology of building a straight cake that isn't lopsided or moving around, that is ready for frosting and that doesn't have the filling seeping out of it. You can make any sponge and filling that you like. The only condition is that you need a chunky filling that has some body to it and that is not too thin. Otherwise, it will be impossible to build a cake. If your sponge is moist enough, you can skip the syrup. As for the fruit filling, again, it has to be pretty thick. Here's my turntable. I put a cake circle on it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is stick my cake on the cake circle with a touch of cream. I do it so that my cake is anchored to the cake circle and doesn't slide around. I put my first layer right in the center of the cake circle. It's better if you put the brown side down so that it's not in the middle of the cake. Now I can start soaking. You can do it with a spoon, a brush or a sprayer. I soak the sponge with the syrup, making sure that every single inch is moist. You want to get an even coating, so pay special attention to the edges. I pop the cream cheese into a piping bag to have a nice even amount all the way across the cake. I put the piping bag into a glass, pop some cream cheese into it, and cut the tip about one and a half centimeters wide. Then I make a dam of icing around the very edge of my cake. This is gonna prevent my filling from seeping out. I put half of my filling in. I'm gonna be using cherry filling today, but the flavor decision is up to you. With a sweeping motion, I spread it evenly inside of my icing wall. Now I need to cover the filling with a layer of cream cheese. I start spiraling the cream cheese from the very edge of the cake to the center. Now I'm gonna smooth out the upper layer of cream cheese with an offset spatula. And I do the same thing with the sides. If you wanna get a 100% even cake, I recommend using a pastry ring and acetate strip. If you don't have an acetate strip, you can do without it, but it provides keeping all the cream on the cake and not on the pastry ring. That's what makes it cool. Then we put the pastry ring of the same size as our cake. If the ring is expendable, it's better to fix it securely. I put the next building block on the cream and press it slightly so that there isn't any space between the cream and the sponge. I also apply syrup but I'm not gonna be using the filling in the mid layer. So I just fill the whole layer with the cream cheese and smooth it out. And then again, I put the sponge, press it slightly, soak it, make the dam of icing, put the rest of our filling and spread it. Next, I apply cream cheese on top of the filling and smooth it out. I put the last building block so that the brown side is on top of the cake. This way, it will look really beautiful when you'll be cutting your cake. Don't forget to soak the last layer with the syrup. We've built our cake. Now I'll put it into the fridge for at least two hours to let it chill. Once our cake comes out of the fridge, we can start frosting and decorating it. Our cake has chilled for two hours in the fridge and now we can take the ring and acetate strip off of it. As you can see, it's really straight vertical, without an inclination, etc. This cake is a perfect base for frosting and decorating. I hope that with the help of this video, you'll make just as straight and gorgeous cake as this one. If you like this video, please subscribe and thumbs up. Bye!